Now, our own Julia LaRoche sitting down exclusively with Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon last night. Here she is. Hey guys. Where he opened up hey, about uh, his DJ alter ego. What was that We about? did talk about that. I, I got to spend about five and a half hours with David Solomon yesterday afternoon time. at his alma mater, Hamilton College, going around talking to students at economics classes, the Career Center, and then an hour and a half long panel. And we talked about everything from he's been in the role. CEO for six months now. Mm -hmm. He's uh, all about the culture at Goldman. You know, the workforce now there is almost like 70% millennial or Gen Z, which is, you, see, you know, that's millennials are taking over. They relax the dress code. We talked about his DJing. You know, he's got a top hit right now on Spotify for house music. And I think that makes him more relatable that's when impressive. it comes to yes. connecting with the next generation. So let's take a listen to how yeah. it's helping his career. That, that I really enjoy and I'm passionate about. Um, but what it does do is, um, you know, I'm extremely focused on Goldman Sachs, and we've got a lot going on, and it, you know, it, it can be intense at times. You know, I spend time on the weekends. You know, I do this occasionally. I spend time producing music, making music. You know, on Sunday afternoons, it 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 takes my head, you know, out of the very very strong singular focus on Goldman Sachs, and it gives me a distraction, a diversion. You know, some people get that. You know, they go, they have other activities that they do. I really enjoy this, and I think one of the things that gives me energy each week to get up and go is if I can get, you know, a few hours on a weekend, you know, to focus on this or do this, it kind of energizes me, it takes my head, you know, out of work mode, Goldman Sachs mode, and puts it into something a little bit more creative, and it gives me a little bit more energy. And but maybe um, even we'll a conversation see. starter, too, with well, uh, some of the younger folks. By the way, I mean, it's, I, I, I find that, that, um, that a, lot of, um, a lot of the younger people that work at Goldman Sachs want to talk about it, are a little bit interested in it. And the other thing I love is on the handful of times a year I do go out and play publicly, you know, I'm finding that every single time, you know, before I start or when I'm done, there are tens of young people who work at Goldman Sachs coming up to me and introducing themselves and saying, hey, I work at Goldman Sachs, and I'm proud to work at Goldman Sachs, and it's nice to meet you. And that's, you know, that's really gratifying, really gratifying. I also like the fact uh, that the the wardrobe changes at Goldman yes, Sachs. Yes, we talked about that. those as well. And he was telling me that he got more attention from the news media for the relaxing of the Goldman Sachs dress code then when he became CEO. <laughs> and this is not new. Wall Street has been relaxing the dress code. So when Goldman finally did it, it made headlines. But uh, I asked him about, you know, what did he wear and stuff. And um, he did kind of give me a run through of the, the days since. And it's all about just feeling comfortable and dressing appropriately for the situation that you're in. So maybe, you know, I'm wearing jeans right now. Um, Very but casual. I, I love casual. how he's like become like a, a fashion it really, expert. <laughs> it really depends because you want to just for the make office, the other yeah. person feel comfortable as well. And look, workforce is changing. It's millennials. It's more flexible. It's not so buttoned up anymore. Yeah, even at Goldman Sachs. But I mean, you run your own country or company. Does no, this not a country <laughs> just yet. Yeah. You know, will be. Country I'm jumping ahead. One Jay Wong going to be 20. 20. All right, no, but you run your own company. I mean, what about the culture fix there in terms of, I guess yours has always been a little bit more I think, you know, relaxed. our policy in general is just treat everyone like an adult. And so if you have a business meeting and the other side generally gets dressed up, then yeah, you should get dressed up. But we're not going to dictate to you what you can and can't wear. But sometimes it does, like, I look around, it does get a little dicey. Like, um, so we had last summer on really hot day, like, one of our uh, heads of HR um, uh, in our fulfillment centers, he wore this, like, this like cut off tee and it was like there's barely a t-shirt there for him. Uh -huh. and I was like, yo, dude, come on, you know? Like, you can try it like much. 20 degrees on yeah, yeah. yeah, I feel like I guess I'm sure that he's not saying wear jeans if we're gonna have a big meeting and everything like that. Right, but very then you know your audience, but maybe exactly. if it's a tech company and they're dressed in their blue jeans, maybe you want to wear yours as well. So. Yeah, like Mark Zuckerberg, he's wearing his hoodie, you might as well the walk in the meeting. Sandals with a hoodie. that he likes to wear. We yeah. have like because we call upon like the world's biggest brands. Um, so it's funny, we went to this one joint business planning meeting together where they warned their staff, like, these are startup folks, you gotta dress down. And then we warned our staff, these are really uptight oh, folks, you gotta dress, dress up. up. So well, if you see, look, if you look at the picture, you yeah. can't even point out like who's from whom, yeah. who's from which company. But did David Sullivan ever say like how he got into uh, DJing? Is he got in later in life, and I actually, I don't know the full story, but um, he did at one point do a set with Paul Oakenfold here in New York. I think it was at Marquee, and he opened for him, and his daughters gave him the name DJ Desaw because <laughs> one's K-Saw and one's Seesaw, which is great. I love that his daughters <laughs> gave him uh, that name, and that's kind of how it started, but he did that, had fun, and I think it just became all... If you're going to open for Paul Oakenfall, you better well, be well, good at it. Strange. Well, that's the good ultimate strange. sign of approval. Turning his tables. daughters are okay with it. I mean, it's just so I strange to be talking that, yeah. about <laughs> the Goldman Sachs at you. Actually, <laughs> the one thing, um, my takeaway is he's really approachable. And I watched him interact with the students, and it wasn't 
inorganic at all. It was really organic, just watching him talk and have conversations with them. And he was asking them questions and yeah. learning from them. And I, I thought that was pretty cool to see. Time's changing on Wall Street, man. That's, I think, the takeaway. But Julia Roche, <laughs> thanks so much thanks for joining guys. us. Appreciate it.